This is video documentation made on Wednesday, December the 12th, 2007, four days after delivery of my new pair of uh, cockatoos. They were shipped in from New Brunswick. This is Peanut. She's a lesser self crested Seems to be in fairly good condition. Her mate, however, Tiny Tim, does not appear to be in great condition. I don't know exactly what's wrong with him, but he's going to the vet today at 4 p.m. He can barely move around, as you can see. Yes, he's very scared. Too much trying to protect him. His feet are in rather poor condition. I think he's in a lot of pain. I've put newspaper down on the grate of the cage so that he could have a little bit of flat footing. He didn't have to grab on to everything all the time. And I put some ladders in the cage for him to be able to get up onto the creatures. And I put extra food and water dishes on the floor. As you can see, he's having a very hard time grasping with the bars in the cage. It's not normal. His lower mandible is overgrown the top mandible of his beak. Now, he's missing a few toes and nails, which is not my concern. My concern is his lack of coordination, and he appears to be favoring the left foot, which appears to be swollen on two of the toes, both the front toes and the ankle of that leg appear to be swollen. When we go to the vet with him today, we're going to find out exactly what's wrong with him. So this just goes to show you that when shipping birds in from somewhere else before you get the chance to actually meet them, just goes to show you what can happen. He sits at the bottom of the cage like that, with his head resting down. There's definitely something wrong with him other than just missing toes and toenails. And we're going to find out. So there you have it. My new birds, they were supposed to be a proven breeding pair, and I just don't see how that's possible. Thank you.